having gone through this uh, long document, it's almost 100 pages, 99 pages. I, I find it very, very enlightening, very humbling, very gratifying, and most hopeful. It is a masterpiece in peacemaking and basic institutional reform towards the establishment of the Pan Samora, a model for a federal republic of the Philippines. As a matter of fact, this is really a big, uh, a great progress towards establishing a federal parliamentary democracy in the Philippines. Uh, behind this has, has been 16 years of hard work by very many people in the end. MILF people, uh, our government people, the president himself, members of the presidential advisor in this process negotiating balance of MILF and, and the government. The government of Malaysia, several supporting Philippine and foreign and international organizations. And the ad hoc committee on the Banza more of basic law. the Bangsamoro in place of the ARMM in my address to the graduating class of Middle <coughs> State University in General Santos City. I referred to Bangsamoro as the challenge of transforming leadership and scholarship to promote the best interests of the Moro people, the Lumads, and all other Mindanaoans, and the nation as a whole, in order to achieve a just, progressive, and lasting peace great joy and hope. The framework agreement with the Bank Zamora was signed in Malacanian in October 2012. Bank Zamora would replace the IRM that had been recognized as a pseudo-autonomous region under the president and judged as a failure. Behind the historic event were 16 years of negotiations between the rebel Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the Philippine government amid armed conflict that had caused an estimated 150,000 deaths and the displacement of countless, countless innocent civilians. Constitutional amendment. Available comparative studies indicate that countries with parliamentary government have been more successful in their governance and development than those with the presidential government. Mr. Chairman, we need a progressive political outlook and transforming leadership in Congress. Clearly, the urgent objective of the Transition Commission is the sub substantive realization of the Moro's vision of Bangsamoro. In pursuit of this goal, the Constitution, the basic law for Bangsamoro, and other laws must be interpreted as enabling authority rather than as obstacles to its fulfillment. We all need an enlightened sense of history and global development, an inclusive view of nationalism, nationhood, and nation building, and a deep and broad concept of compensatory and redistributive justice. Our Supreme Court must look forward by it guided by our lofty national vision in our constitution and not by be bound by restrictive precedents. There is no room for self-defeating legalism and obstructive technicality in the pursuit of our vision for the nation under the 1987 constitution, namely building a just and humane society and a democracy under the rule of law and a regime of truth, justice, and freedom, love, equality, and peace.
To enable our leaders to pass this test is at the same time a great challenge to the Christianity and humanity of the majority of our Filipino leaders and citizens to accommodate legitimate aspirations of our moral brothers and sisters. For Muslims and Christians worship the same Almighty God. They call Allah. Amend the Constitution if we must. So if need be, let us amend our Constitution to fulfill the vision embodied in the framework, framework agreement Pan Samoro and allow genuine regional and local autonomy to apply to the whole country along with the parliamentary government. The fundamental reform of our flawed and outmoded political system is a looming necessity that may no longer be postponed by our political oligarchy and family dynasties. We need more transforming leaders for a modernizing polity, not transactional leaders who perpetuate our wasteful patronage system, obsolete institutions, and continuing socio-economic underdevelopment. The President and our leaders in Congress and our local governments business, civil society, and the media should support the reviving campaign for regional and local autonomy by itself or in transition to a future of federalism and hopefully charter change toward the parliamentary government as well. Let us not wait for armed conflict to resume and civil unrest to consume our energies and resources in a failed state and a renewed authoritarianism. So, we greatly support and fully support the enactment of the Bangsamoro political entity as embodied in the basic law on Bangsamoro, House Bill 4994, now before the Ad Hoc Committee on the Bangsamoro, more basic law led by Chairman Rodriguez. Thank you.